there's something really strange happening in the anime industry right now. And I know what you're thinking. Obviously, it's Japan. Japan's always strange. But no, I, I'm talking about something that's weirder than usual. Like talking bananas. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome back to your everyday nerd B-Sides editions. I'm your host, Zack Snyder. And on the B-Sides, we pull from every corner of nerd culture to talk about anything and everything that piques my interest. A few years ago, I started getting into seasonal anime. Every season, there's a new set of 30 to 50 shows. And sometime in 2016, I decided I wanted to watch the first episode of every show that season. Well, I did. And then I wrote a blog post talking about every single show. And then the next season started and I got behind. Then a couple years later, I decided, yo, I'm going to do the same thing. I started a podcast with a couple friends, and uh, that didn't quite pan out either. And then last year, I started Your Everyday Nerd, and then I did an episode on the fall 2018 season, talked about every single first episode of every show that season, and then did not do the winter one, even though somewhere in my Google Drive is a script talking about most of those shows. And so all of this to say that one, there is still an episode plan of Your Everyday Nerd to talk about every single show that aired this year. And two, because anime is weird. Here's what I'm talking about. So taking the initiative to watch every anime in a season is a very daunting task. At first, it's kind of cool because you get to figure out for yourself which shows you're specifically interested in. Unfortunately, that also means you have to watch a lot of disgustingly mediocre shows, uh, along with a bunch of painstakingly awful shows. But among all of the shows that look like this, or the shows that just have no unique personality whatsoever like this, there is this weird subset of anime that I'm calling the three minute anime. I don't really know what the official genre is, but I needed to talk about these three minute anime because they're some of the most original and unique shows I've seen in a very long time. And uh, they're also some of the weirdest things I've seen in a very long time. So I don't throw the word weird around often, but usually when I say something is weird, I mean, oh, this thing's pretty dope because it's completely unique and original. It doesn't do anything anything else does. And for today's episode, that's mainly what I'm talking about, but Sometimes it's not because I genuinely don't know how to react to some of the shows that we're going to talk about. And this first show definitely fits that description. Wacky TV Na 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 is a 2018 adult comedy series that's airing its second season right now. It's about a film crew of banana men who work for a television station called Nanazon Prime Video. I wish I was making this up. After watching a couple episodes of a different anime this season with my roommate, this came up randomly on Crunchyroll and we watched the first couple episodes of it. And uh, I, I honestly, I... I don't even know how to react to it. Not only does the plot make absolutely no sense, the characters are so bizarrely out there that it leaves me with so many questions, including what drugs were they doing during the making of this show and where can I get some? I really don't have much to say about Wacky TV 999 and that's because I didn't really watch a whole lot of it. There is an entire first season. Maybe I'll watch it. Maybe I'll talk about it in a different show. I just wanted to show you the type of anime that we're working with because some of these other shows, I have seen the entirety of it. And we're gonna move into the next show, which is also about bananas, but, but also about cats. No, 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 that's not it, that's not it, what the f That's better. Bananya is a 2016 banana, anime about the banana, secret life of banana. cats that are simultaneously bananas. Unlike the last one, this one definitely seems like it's more targeted towards children. And yet, out of all the anime that aired during this 2016 season, uh, Bananya was like one of two shows that I actually watched week to week. In fact, apparently, season two is airing in October. And you best believe that I'm gonna watch it every single week. 
I honestly don't know why I would watch this show. I don't know why anybody would watch this show, but look at these banana cats and tell me they're not cute. They're literally, it literally feels like a children's show because I have learned slash so still want to learn Japanese more. It does help me with my Japanese because they're using such basic words. So it's like, oh cool, I can comprehend what these banana cats are doing. Then again, maybe I'm just being brainwashed by the Japanese government and one day in 20 years, I'm gonna go outside and do something dangerous because that's what they wanted me to do. Oh, beware of banana, everybody. <laughs> beware. <laughs> but unfortunately, that's the only cute weird anime we're going to be talking about today because now we're going to be going into some more of the outrageously bizarre and weird Rinshi Ikoda-chan aired earlier this year and it's about honestly I'm not quite sure what it's about because I only watched the first episode and frankly I didn't like it at all it's about this woman, but each episode is done by a different voice actor and a different director, which is kind of cool at first, but in the first episode, this girl talks really fast, kind of like this and kind of loud for like three minutes straight about nonsense. And I just really didn't want to hear anything about it anymore. So I'm only sharing it with you to further my knowledge of this weird subset of anime. Like seriously, listen to this bit. それにしてもなんでゼナなのかってよっと選択物が少なくて済むでしょ年頃のエコタちゃんの悩み受けてみられること I have to censor it too because like she's kind of naked, but not really. It's such a weird show. But I didn't want to backtrack and talk about a show that I did finish. And I, I still couldn't tell you why I finished this one. 2018's Jingai San no Yume is about a group of high school kids who get married. I know, high school kids getting married is a little bit weird. But what if they were married to these things? And I wonder why anime has a stigma. Cause not every anime is like this. There's some, you know, Attack on Titan, a little more of adult edge to it, but it's pretty tame. One Punch Man, pretty tame. Mob Psycho 100 gets into some weird stuff, but like, it's pretty tame. Then you got Jingai San no Yume. This is a show that I watched the first episode of while I was watching the fall 2018 season and I didn't understand it, but it was only three minutes long. So I was like, what if I watch the second episode? Maybe I'll understand it. And then next thing I know, I'm watching like nine episodes and I'm waiting till the next week for the new episode to air. And uh, I, I still, to this very day, don't understand why this series was made. It's kind of funny. It's kind of cute but it's also really weird. Before we move on though, I wanna ask you a very personal question. Please feel free to comment this if this is something you're, you feel comfortable with sharing with the class. What's your blood type? Because as it turns out, Japan associates blood types with certain personalities. And in 2013's Katsui Kigata-kun, every episode plays out different scenarios with personified blood types, and I as an American don't understand any of it. Apparently, each of the four main blood types, A, A, B, B, and O, are all associated with a specific personality type in Japan. If you're A, you're earnest or neat, but also stubborn and anxious. For the O types, you're easygoing, have a high leadership ability, while also being insensitive and unpunctual. B types are passionate and creative, but also selfish and uncooperative. While A, B types are talented and composed, but also eccentric and two-faced. As an A-type myself, I would argue that I'm not 100% neat and I'm definitely not stubborn. So I still don't understand any of this. But if you're interested in this aspect of Japanese culture, maybe you'll like Ketsui Kigata-kun. And finally, we end this episode with the last weird anime that I found recently, the three minute anime, if you will, and that's 2012's TQ, a show that you should really only watch if you're hyped on caffeine and feel like reading subtitles at 3,000 miles per hour. <laughs> TQ is about a group of teenage friends who play tennis together and they like to talk and do things really fast. 
マリモちゃんなりのスキンシップじゃない抱っこしてなでなでする感じで私はこういうですかただのスキンシップなのに The jokes in TQ can actually be kind of funny but they go by so quickly that you have to stay up on your toes the entire time to comprehend everything that's going on here Also, much like all these other shows the plot really doesn't exist It's super chaotic and so you're really just watching it for the wackiness of the show and maybe the characters maybe the humor but for me it was one of those where like in order for me to really enjoy this i'd probably have to like slow it down a little bit to to really read everything fast enough or i would have to be like like i said super hyped up on caffeine そういえばこのシミは何ですかあそれ私毎晩こうやって寝てるから I share all these anime with you because I think it is really kind of cool to see this subset of weird shorter anime and I could go further with this there's plenty of shows out there that have 12 minute episodes have 7 minute episodes and they're just as bizarre but I thought it was really really interesting that there's these 3 minute ones specifically Every single season, it can really feel like a lot of anime is doing the exact same thing. We got another isekai, we got another harem trope. All these are the same plots, the same characters, the same tired fan service. It's kind of cool to see that some studios are doing things a little bit differently. Sometimes that approach is a little bit too different, and we end up with shows that are so weird, I don't really know. How to make anything out of it, but I honestly prefer that to another isekai in another fantasy world in another kitty toe that's also way too overpowered. Well, I guess I'm a sellout now. Yo, what's poppin'? Did you like the episode? If so, how about you help a homie out by donating to the Patreon? That's right, here at Your Everyday Nerd, Zack Snyder really likes to whore himself out as much as possible, and that's what this segment is for. If you haven't checked it out yet, the Patreon is the place where you can support the show and also receive a little bit in return. I don't want it to be a full donation service, I want to give back. If you're on the $1 tier, you get access to the weekly newsletter, which talks about all of the content I do across all the different platforms. Plus, you get in the private Discord channel, which I send the best of memes. Today, I'm gonna send a banana meme. They're not gonna see it coming. For the $3 tier, you get an episode of Let's Talk About It, which is a show on my personal channel where I talk about anything that you suggest as a $3 tier or higher. So, I've talked about Papa John's now, I've talked about sleep. I talked about an anime called The Laughing Salesman. Maybe there's some nerd related shit you want me to talk about in a shorter episode thing. I'll just go talk about it on that channel if you're a $3 tier. Maybe you don't want to wait until the end of the year to see my thoughts on every anime that aired in 2019. So you become a $3 tier patron and say, Zach, I want you to talk about this anime. And then I'll talk about it over there because I've seen a good bit of them. I'm just still trying to figure out what to do about that episode. But also, For the new $7 premium tier. That's right, it's back, baby. For $7 a month, you can get a full episode about anything you want on your everyday nerd. That's right. So, I did one of these already for Calfro a couple months ago, where I talked about the entire first season of Sailor Moon. He made me watch like 50 episodes of this show, but I ended up really enjoying it. So, do you want me to watch a show, an anime, a movie, play a game? Is there anything you want me to talk about specifically in a full length episode of Your Everyday Nerd? The $7 tier is there for you. We've also got other tiers. You can check those out. The link is in the description. But if you can't, I do appreciate you just continuing to tune in to new episodes of Your Everyday Nerd. But, anyways, that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and like button. If for a reason you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. Let me know down in the comments if you thought this topic was interesting. I, I've noticed a lot of these shows over the last couple years. I've watched a lot of them and I thought, yo, I think it'd be really cool to do a full episode on it. Maybe that's something you're interested in. Maybe I can find some more short anime and do a part two. Let me know if that's something you're interested in in the comments. In the meantime, thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.